Hello there, Capricorn. Um, I feel like messages come out a lot more succinctly and a lot clearer, so it's easier for me to read. And um, I know that, you know, for the past couple of months, um, your readings have been a lot shorter than other signs, and I apologize for that, okay? But um, whatever messages that comes through, what I see is what I read, okay? Um, first of all, let me just relay this message that I saw. So what I saw was like a, it, it looks almost like a Game Boy, um, you know, the portable gaming, um, uh, I guess like machine that, you know, kids hold and then they play. So I'm, I'm looking at the screen and everything is very pixelated. It looks like Tetris. Uh, but I looked at it closer, and it looks like the Game of Snake, okay? So for those who might not be familiar. So the Game of Snake is you start out with a snake uh, on the screen, and it can move up, down, uh, left, and right. So it, it's a very, you know, um, minimalistic type of a game. And what you do is I believe there are fruits or something, and you have to... Um, eat the fruits and as you eat you get longer and longer and longer and you have to be strategic about how you move on top of the screen because space is limited right but as your body gets longer and longer if you accidentally uh, run into your body then the game ends right and so what I saw is um, the snake getting longer and longer the more that it consumes and so space on the screen is very limited and it seems like it's running out. And so you have to maneuver your specific like a salary increase or if you're getting like a promotion or if you're in line for a promotion, you're filling out some paperwork just so that on the date that you're supposed to start the new thing, the new project, the new job, the new grade level or the new salary level, you want to just, you know, smoothly transition in rather than having to deal with all the, the uh, unexpected, like, side effects, okay? Like turning in paper work late and then having to deal with delays and, and things like that. So I feel like the month itself, it seems like there's a lot of mental energy. There's a lot of things that needs to be done that, that, that's calling your attention, and if anything, I feel like many of you have learned so much from, you know, the, the past, the past like two and a half years where Saturn, the taskmaster, was transiting your sign. Saturn taught you a lot about not procrastinating, not leaving things to chance, not letting things kind of slide until the very last moment, um, not, um, I want to say, like, take care of responsibilities as it creeps up. And then Saturn is also teaching you a lot, have taught you a lot about, you know, planning for long term, planning d further down the line, being a few steps ahead of the game and, and staying a few steps ahead of the game so that nothing is really catching you unawares, okay? So I feel like Saturn has really kind of, like, expanded or increased your field of vision, okay? Whereas before, you were seeing things in this myopic uh, way, okay? You're thinking like, oh, you know, um, all, all the practical stuff. Wh where am I going to live? What am I going to eat? What car am I going to drive? Where am I going to work? I feel like everything was very narrowly focused, and it was very much about survival. And what Saturn is doing right now is it's kind of expanding your worldview a little bit and giving you this breadth of vision, being able to plan things out five, ten years further down the line, and being able to pretty much be in a good position where rather than, I would say, like letting things happen to you, you're staying ahead of the curve and you're anticipating all the things that would happen so that you can preemptively, you know, stay one, like plan for things and even be one step ahead of the, the game, okay? Um, and so, stere well, stereotypically, Saturn gives us, you know, a lot more structure, a lot more discipline, but I feel that because Saturn is your innate ruler, you have always dealt with, you know, the, the, the discipline and the structure, but I feel that you 
might have been very structured and disciplined with yourself, but you're not really operating in a way where you're using that framework of discipline and structure to make things around you better for you or to make situations that come in, um, I guess, like more beneficial to you. So what I mean by that is, let's just say, okay, um, for many of you, you might have, you know, routines and habits, okay? Waking up at 6, going to the gym at 7, going to work at 8, and then getting home, and then, you know, cooking something to eat. Or maybe for some of you, going back to the gym, and then watching a little bit of TV, and then taking a shower. And then, so like, everything is very regimented. But I feel that the way that Saturn is operating for many of you guys is teaching you to to kind of like take that framework, that discipline, that regimen, uh, regimented lifestyle, and kind of like cast it out into the wider arena of your life. Um, having a workflow, having time like uh, checklists, having you know time frames set for a certain amount, like certain projects that need to be done. And also setting your, like, kind of like um, creating some type of a, a game plan for yourself, you know. So, for example, two months, I'm going to stay here. Uh, and then, you know, a year from now, I'm going to make be senior in a work situation. And then maybe two years from now, I would have learned enough skills as, as a senior so that I can, you know, supervise other people. And then further down the line, like three years from now, after I've been in that supervisory position, I'm going to be in a really good place to, you know, um, escalate up the upper management, like um, getting into some type of a higher position. So what Saturn is really doing is uh, it has laid the great the framework for you and the foundation for you. You've worked really hard at things. And I feel that it is time for you to expand things out a little bit and figuring out your course and charting your course so that you can, you know, um, plan for the next five, ten years, okay? I'm sensing for many of you, um, within the past five years, uh, it, it, was, uh, it seemed to me as if life was more about survival, you know, going through the motions, making enough money to pay the bills, to take care of the kids, to enroll them in school, buy them new clothes, you know, every year, um, paying your electricity bill, paying, it, it seemed almost as if it was like teetering on the brink of survival, okay? And because you guys have been very disciplined with yourself, you don't um, resort to like emotional spending. You don't re resort to like wasting money, squandering your wealth, squandering your hard-earned cash. But everything seemed like it was just like you know your 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 salary met your expenses, and there was very little disposable income left over for you to really enjoy life. And so coming through in the month of, uh, I'm sorry, in the year of 2020, and especially when we are starting out with a bang on your birthday time, I do see a huge uptake in your financial situation, in the amount of money that you're earning. I do sense for many of you, if you're working in a, um, you know, like client base capacity, I see you really being able to manifest, okay, being able to manifest a lot more financial resources. This is the Eight of Coins, and the Eight of Coins is work, working very diligently at your craft. This is kind of like the magician in the making. This is somebody who, um, you know, makes a living with the things that they say, okay. Uh, I usually think of it as a card, like a, a salesman, but uh, salesmanship, I feel like it has a... Um, a negative or like a sleazy connotation is somebody who talks and makes a living by talking but I feel like in this capacity it's somebody who works really hard who takes really good care of their clients they make sure that you know uh, customer satisfaction is like their priority and because of that a lot of people trust them a lot of people can leave um, give them a lot of responsibilities and know that at the end of the day that you guys Capricorns will be able to handle yourself um, 
for those of you who have have like uh, who are working underneath somebody I do sense that they're entrusting you with a lot more responsibility when they have to take a work um, a work trip they leave you in charge when they have to go on vacation they leave everything in your control because they trust you and they trust that you won't abuse your power and they trust that you have the skills the competencies to troubleshoot and that the office, the work situation, will not go up in flames if they're not there. So I do feel a tremendous amount of trust coming through from your superiors, coming through from the people around you, coming through from your environment, because you have shown yourself to be hardworking, to be diligent, to be really meticulous with the work that you do. And you put a lot of emphasis on like, you know, do getting a job done, but doing it also very well, okay? Um, so those are really positive things, okay? So I, I see that snake, you know, it's getting longer and longer and longer. And what it means is that your reputation is really building. You've created a lot of, um, I want to say, like really good karma for yourself. You're also in a position where I do sense that a lot of people are entrusting you with big, um, bigger things, um, more responsibilities. It doesn't mean the work is piling up and you're inundated. I don't feel that. I just feel like they're giving you more, more complex tasks to perform. And they're also, you know, if in the past they have been kind of hovering over you, making sure you're doing such and such, you know, well, or making sure you're doing it in the way that they want. Now they're kind of backing off and giving you your space so that you can make it your own, so that you can do whatever you feel is necessary as long as the, the work gets done. So I do see a great degree of trust between other people and especially superiors, okay? Um, your reputation is really building in a very positive way. And then I also feel like just your professional life in general with the sun here. This is about warmth, abundance, recognition, getting a lot of um, positive um, attention, you know, kind of like beaming with positive attention and attracting a lot of good things coming your way as it relates to the professional environment. So you have some wonderful things coming through. Um, when I saw the, 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 the snake coiling on itself, I was thinking about, you know, making sure that you don't get in your own way, okay? And uh, some of the, the key words that came out here was about risk aversion, okay? Not taking risk. Um, I mentioned before, I feel that for many of you, the past five years have not been easy. It was not easy being a Capricorn. And um, I, I feel that, you know, you were like right on the, like five years ago, you were like it, subsisting, okay? Whatever you made, it goes towards bills. It went towards bills. And so you weren't in a position where you had money left over to invest, to buy yourself nice things, to buy nice things for the, the people that you love, and to take vacation, to, you know... Um, um, get out of, you know, financial dire strait or financial hardships for some of you, but I, I feel like it, it wasn't exactly financial hardship. It was just that you had to be thrifty with money. And then I also feel that for many of you, there were a lot of, uh, a lot, there was a lot of work, a lot of responsibilities, and your time was also very limited. And so you're making money, but you might not be able to spend it. You might not have the time. You might have for others of you, you might not have the resources. And so in the year of 2020, I do feel one of the areas of that is a major breakthrough for you is in your financial circumstance where you're earning more, you're making more, you're able to plan, you're able to like um, save up and, and take that dream vacation for many of you. Being able to, you know, um, call in at a moment's notice and just be like, you know what, I don't feel like going to work today. I feel like taking a mental health day and going to the beach. I feel that you're giving yourself a lot more freedom to really live your life and also to enjoy it thoroughly because at this point you know what really matters to you. You know that mental health is important. You know that you can't work yourself to the ground.
You know that being in an environment where you are well respected, where you are um, trusted, matters a lot more. Okay, so I feel that the energy is really easing up for you. And I also feel that you're uh, no longer, you know, getting in your own way, no longer operating from that space of like lack, no longer letting fears hold you back and no longer uh, feeling either tied to or indebted to anybody because you are coming into your own sense that, you know, I made it. I got myself here. It was my own skills and capabilities that got me here. Nobody, you know, so this is not coming through in a spirit of like um, um, arrogance, okay? This is not what it's about. But I do sense that for many of you, you felt almost like indebted to a work situation, something in the darkness of the night, not wanting to, to reveal things, keeping everything kind of like under wraps, okay, literally under wraps, keeping communications very hush-hush, keeping our plans to ourselves, not ourselves, not showing other people our cards. I feel like you have somebody in your midst who is doing this, and they're soon going to be reaching out to you and revealing everything that they have planned. And I feel for some of you, this might be a relationship partner, this might be a partner in a firm. This might be like a somebody that you're very close to in the work environment. And I do feel like they've got some... Um, I'm sensing that, you know, they, they, they've got something in mind and they want to propose it to you. So, for example, if somebody is, you know, thinking about, like, if they've been talking about starting their own company, I feel like they want you on board to... Uh, to share that venture with them. They might have a position in mind for you to, to s slide into. They might have a proposal in mind for you to look through. They might have a position lined up for you or on the offing for you. And then I also feel for many of you, um, um, you have some major plans with a significant other and many of you are keeping things under wraps. You don't want to tell your family members. You don't want to tell your friends. Maybe your family members have been, you know, constantly uh, doubting you or, you know, they, they were like naysayers. They were also very risk averse and they are just like, oh, that's never going to work. That's too risky. You don't want to do that. You know, scrap those plans. And honestly, it's just not their place, okay? And I feel like they are, they, they mean well. It's not like they're there to tear apart your plans or your dreams and your ideals. I feel that they lack imagination. And whatever appears really out of the box or very um, out of the norm for them scares them. So they're speaking to you and giving you advice from a place of, you know, protectionism from a place of like risk aversion, from a place of, you know, just lacking imagination and, and not being able to understand how things, how you can pull things off. So I feel like they might not be the appropriate people to ask advice. And I, I do sense there's a lot of things here that indicates to me that uh, they're giving you advice unsolicited either way, okay? So it's not like they're doing it out of... Um, ill will. I just feel like they're, they don't like people to rock the boat. They don't want you to think outside the box. And I feel there's a lot of energies here about you thinking outside the box, um, creative problem solving, planning really, really far ahead and getting yourself out of situations and especially not getting in your own way when you want things to happen for you. Okay. What we have next here is the Wheel of Fortune, and this is like the best card in the deck, okay? It basically signals to me that the time is here, the time is now for the Wheel of Fortune to be turning in. Um, I, I feel like it's sort of like the... Um, so let, let's look at, you know, the. I'm getting that image of like um, cogs in a, in a machine, okay? All the pieces have to be in place and all the cogs start turning and then the big machine turns. Um, I feel like 
for the past few months, there has been a wrench in the works, okay? So just imagine a wrench thrown in and wedging in between those two cogs, okay? A big cog and a small one is wedged in and none of them are able to budge. So it seems as if for the past few months, you were trying to push for to get things in motion and I feel like this is in your professional life and then I also feel like in your personal life moving um, getting you know like sending out resumes and things like that uh, sending out pieces of yourself and waiting for a response waiting for feedback waiting for something to come back in something concrete and something solid so there's a lot of waiting that I'm seeing here for the past few months and it just feels like there was a wrench in the works it jammed up the, the, the cogs, it jammed up the machine and nothing is really moving things were just kind of like buzzing but not really moving the gears are grinding and it was uncomfortable and there was like screeching and it was just like a state of limbo and it was uncomfortable I feel for the month of January you have some wonderful things coming in that will clear up that log jam it will you know kind of like remove the wrench in the works it will get all the gears turning in the right motion so that the big engine can start producing so that in the I, I so I, I have heavy air sign Aquarius Gemini Libra I also have Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody, it's like a dynamic duel. Uh, the two of you, you spark off each other, like uh, ideas and things like that, uh, in, a, in, in a very productive way. So, for example, they might be the ideas person, and you're the one that, you know, builds on their ideas. And then for others of you, um, I feel like you might be the ideas person. And this is strange, but, you know, Capricorns are very down-to-earth. But I feel like for many of you, you might be a little bit more on the Aquarian side, like late uh, degree Capricorns, or if you're born in like um, the la the the latter part of January, like going towards like January nineteenth, January eighteenth, so on and so forth. So you have a lot of Aquarius influence, where you're the ideas person, but you might not be as um, you might get really burnt out, you might get discouraged easily when you're trying to build on your ideas. So this person is helping you build your ideas, helping you envision it, and they're trying to help you. Um, it's like the two of you, one person is very practical and very like hands-on oriented, and the other person has like grand vision. And, and together, the two of you complement each other incredibly well and you can build on things and make things very stable, very sturdy, and can last a lifetime, okay? Um, I'm also feeling as well, for those who are in a relationship, new relationship, especially with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, you might not have known how they felt about you. You might have also wondered, you know, are they seeing other people? Are they lying to me? Are they, um, you know, like exclusive with me? I feel like there's going to be an outpouring of love, a major gesture coming through from this person for the month of January, where they're really going to soothe away all of the suspicions or the all the anxieties and all the, the doubts that you've had regarding the relationship with them. So the energy is very beautiful for a lot of like coming together, a lot of trust. And especially if you are dealing with um, somebody that you feel like you're not really sure if they're in it to win it with you or if they're in it for keeps with you. Um, there will be a lot of opportunities I'm seeing here socializing. This is a professional card, okay? And the moon, we have the sun and the moon socializing with people that you work with okay finding out a lot of information and details about people that you work with some of it might be very pleasant some of it might be like oh I wish I hadn't known that okay um, office politics maneuvering the environment where we might not know something but we have to learn how to bluff okay um, where we're giving somebody in a work environment our word and it's like I, I give you my word that I'm gonna get something done in a specified amount of time and 
on the inside, you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done. And I feel like, you know, you're blurting out the promise anyways. And I, I feel that things are going to be okay because, you know, they would not have given you that opportunity or, or that task or, you know, depend on you to uh, finish something at a specified time unless they trust you. So I do sense, in a way, Capricorns. Everything is going to fall into place and everything is going to be as it should be. So my only advice for you here is don't get in your own way, okay? Don't let self-doubt um, sabotage your plans, okay? Don't let the um, your, your fear of risk-taking um, make you miss out on good opportunities when they come in, okay? And especially don't let people around you cloud your judgment and tell you what you should or should not do because their advice as much as you know as uh, as well meaning as they they are their advice might not be appropriate for what you're dealing with right now you have shown yourself to be really hard working to be very intelligent to be very capable and the past two and a half years were difficult and i feel that now you have a better sense of direction. You needed to go through it to learn a lot about yourself, you know, to learn about your limits, to learn about your capabilities. I keep seeing many of you, it's like, oh, you know, I can pull out an all-nighter to finish that task. Or, yeah, I can, you know, forgo sleep for like three days to get a project done. And I feel like Saturn did some major reality check for you where you realize that physically you need to take better care of yourself. And you also felt like, it, you felt like it's okay for me to be self-indulgent, you know, to, to, to get some more sleep because my mind is sharper. You're realizing the formula that really works for you. And you're realizing that there's a lot of things that you never thought you needed, such as, you know, getting the, the extra few hours of sleep, taking naps so that your batteries can recharge, so that in your naps, in your dream state, you can problem solve. And I also feel like, you know, feel rejuvenated so you can look at something that was difficult or problematic with a new set of eyes so that you can arrive at better solutions for solving them, okay? So there were things that you thought you didn't need and now, you know, coming out of the Saturn transit, you're realizing how beneficial they are for you. And there might have been a lot of, like, you know, self-limiting talks, things that you tell yourself that were not true. You know, I'm not good enough. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not capable enough. I'm not bold enough. All of these things, I feel like you're realizing now that they really got in the way. They kept you in, in, in one place. And I feel that you had a lot more potential. Than you, it's like you, you have so much more than you give yourself credit for. And so you settled for things that were, were like, okay, but they're not the optimal things for you. And they're not bringing out your best. And so the, the year of 2020, I do see a lot of you taking a lot more risk, having more disposable income, which is great, being able to indulge, being able to, you know, pamper yourself and really taking care of yourself and the people that you love and doing things not no longer like, you know, for example, it, it's sort of like... Um, I feel like, you know, buying flowers for your significant other, okay? Many of you in the past might have thought that, oh, it's wasteful. Flowers are just going to survive for like three days and then they're going to wilt and they're going to die. What's the point? Why don't I buy them a shirt? Why don't I buy them, you know, something for their car? Things like that. And so you're able to look at life from a different lens and being able to figure out that, you know, all these little things matter. The flower might die in three days' time. But in the meantime, we get to enjoy its beauty. We get to have it home. And I get to see my significant uh, other's face light up when he or she sees flowers. So I feel like you're giving yourself room to, to take it easy 